Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, uh, happy chicken apocalypse Friday. I'll explain all that later. I wanna talk about a couple of different topics now. First one I'm gonna talk about is why I still believe we have a shot at mauling these motherfuckers. It's a, it's, it's, it's a time frame thing. Not so much um, what people think. People are thinking the vote and people are thinking the judge's decision. That's not what I'm looking at. Let me explain something to you. When I came into AMC Abe, well, first of all, when I came into AMC with all of us, everything was good until they created Ape. And I wanted to delay Ape, and everybody was opposite of me. And guess what? Popcorn diluted us. We got fucked. And at the end of the day, I was like, that's it. It's done. We ran for a while, and I was like, all right, whatever. When the time comes, I'll revisit AMC. And when Popcorn turned around and said that they're going to do the reverse split and I saw the price of Ape being low and AMC being high, I said, okay, this is my opportunity to jump into Ape, make a couple of bucks on it. And at the end of the day, because I know the stock, I said to myself, this will be a cool way to wrap everything up. Then this got interesting. That lawsuit with the judge having to decide, you know, yes or no on the voting rights, you know, could you merge it? I want to explain something to you why this gave me a ray of hope for something bigger. Bigger AMC taking eight, bigger eight triggering AMC. Let me explain what I mean by that. AMC is is right now very expensive to short. If you see if you can find shares, it's really one of those horrible things. Okay, I'll fact I'll fact check myself in two seconds with another. Um, I'll do it now in two seconds. It would be much easier to do it this way. Two seconds. All right. You go to the street. Just came out. Why AMC is the most, the most expensive stocks to short in the market? To bet against AMC, short sellers must pay some of the highest fines in the market. Okay? So technically speaking, we're painful. Okay? Now, the fees brokers charge to borrow stocks for short trades vary depending mainly on factors supply and demand. There's a lot of demand, and there sure as hell isn't a lot of supply. With borrow fee rates as high as 142%, AMC is one of the most expensive stocks to borrow right now. You usually get that, like I said, when there's no shares. So you have to have more money out there in order to get some shares. But there's another dynamic that's happening. People are not lending out their shares because they don't know if they're going to get them back. That's the a, that's a sideline stuff. Analysts estimate that short sellers may have already lost as much as $430 million on their AMC positions this year. Okay, neither here nor there on that. We already know AMC is tight, it's expensive, it's poised to have a massive run. Don't pay attention to the drop in the price because that shit is not real. And Ape, if AMC goes, Ape goes with it. Okay, now, you look at Ape. Ape is a situation where Ape was what they used to go long on their AMC shorts. Okay. But the one thing that Ape had, it, it wasn't the fact that you can go long in the short or whatever. It was because it had voting rights. And one day they were going to merge it back together. So technically, the you couldn't just take Ape and cancel out your shorts and go, I won. You couldn't do that. Because Ape had to technically one day merge back. That was the value of Ape. It had the voting rights to convert itself back over to AMC. Now that, at the end of the day, was what they planned all along, okay? Problem was, they knew that we were gonna say no to it. Okay, so that's where they triggered the whole thing with an entire and stuff like that, whatever. And then the lawsuit came out. And when the lawsuit came out, it was something interesting. Everybody missed it. I didn't miss it just because my brain works in a very twisted way. Like, I don't know, like somebody that gets in a car accident, is like, oh my God, the lot of numbers for next week are, well, I was able to kind of see something in a different light. Our vote is March 14th, where we're probably going to say no. I know they're going to say yes, but they're going to say no. But because of that lawsuit, it added a second part of that vote on April 27th, which is just judge. The judge is going to say yes or no on the voting rights as far as merging and stuff like that. So within our vote and the judge's decision, we pushed a painful situation for the shorters on AMC, we pushed it forward. We pushed it forward another month and change. Now what that is, it's like a race. Let's say the New York City Marathon, you see some fucking guy from Kenya, he's fucking running. He sees the fucking finish line 20 steps ahead. He's like, oh, I did it, I did it, dude. But 
The problem is, imagine somebody took that finish line. Okay, that motherfucker's dehydrated, probably got chased by a dog in Brooklyn, whatever. And they take that fucking line and they move it 50 steps forward. His brain, his everything, his soul, his training, everything he is, wasn't ready for that extra, extra couple of steps he's going to have to take. Just like our AMC shorters were not prepared for an additional time frame waiting and financing their AMC short position. And understand something, it's getting worse. They did not prepare for that. They did not think about it. Now it's costing more money. Oh, but they got money. But the conditions, it doesn't matter if they got the money. The conditions are getting worse every day to hold AMC down and eight, believe it or not. So this is the this is the beauty of this. This is what gave it the extra oomph. So when I was in AMC with you and we said no and Popcorn said yes, he created eight and turned around and diluted and I left because I was like, what, what are we gonna do? There's nothing, eight is not gonna, nothing's gonna happen. It has to build up and in time I'll revisit it. Well, I revisited it. And when I came back, because of the price difference, I'll make a couple of bucks, whatever. All of a sudden, the court case pushed something forward. Now that gave us more time. It's the reality of luck in the market. If between now and the judge's decision, we have a break, and we might because there's some things happening in the economy. If we have a break during the time after the vote, after the 14th to the judge's vote, please understand that extra amount of time gave us the, 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 the wiggle room, the fight room. It's like a fighter up against the, the ropes. Sometimes he's catching a beating, but if by one, one little chance, he's able to duck and roll when a, when, a, when a big swing comes in and he gets off those ropes, he got a chance. We got a chance. We just, we just dodged a major blow on the 14th. We might be able to murder this freaking monster in front of us because we have the extra time to fight. That's why this to me right now, that's why I'm in this because this is like, okay, an opportunity happened. Ape at this price, AMC was up here. Okay, that was a money deal. Then the reality is it got pushed off further. So now we have a situation where AMC, which is painful to hold down, might run. Ape, painful to hold down, might run. But right now they can't merge them until all this is done. So we're still in the fight. We've been threatened by popcorn. We've been asked nicely by Popcorn to vote. Like, it, it's, we're in that different world. So people want to know, you know what, what I see, why I have optimism on this. First of all, it's a short time frame. That's why I have optimism. Uh, after this thing, forget about it. After this thing, the, the dilution is going to be real. And the sell-off and all kinds of stuff like that. But just let you know, this is why right now I see a, a ray of light within this time frame. So I hope that helps.